Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Saturday, September 21st, 2019. Happy birthday, Jamie. And happy equinox, approximately. The equinox is a moving date. It's That's sometimes true. the 20th, sometimes the 21st, sometimes other dates in that vicinity, but That's often true. the 21st. In both the Lynn Life and the Jimmy Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions and all other souls from all other dimensions as long as the souls are already living by the many search for truth rules already given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us and we are beginning to get more and more inquiries asking for copies of those rules and so friend just go to our website if you are one of those people who would like a copy of those rules and contact us through email, contact our uh, community through email and one of the volunteers will send you a copy of the Search for Truth Rules. We're all volunteers, none of us are paid. Uh, none of no. us, none of us means exactly what it sounds like. None of us, we're not paid. No. For the teaching or activism efforts, we do all have our healing practices. That's true. When we get these assignments to film, we know that there's something that we're supposed to film about and we are supposed to look for the clues that have been presented through the denser experience, the ground zero planet Earth experience. That's true. And see if we can piece together the topic matter for the filming. And we're, we're having a little bit of a challenge figuring out what the topic matter is today but we know what the clues are. We know that uh, about two minutes before, it's time for Baxter to come inside. Baxter is a little doggy. Mm -hmm. He makes a break for it and runs off the farm. Right as we are wrapping up our farm work and we're getting ready to come inside and therefore Baxter would come with us, Baxter uh, breaks the fence and runs away. After having spent a long time on the farm, not running away, out and loose. Right, being completely appropriate and doing what he's supposed to do. Right then, at the crucial moment, he bolts. And, and he did it today, and he did it the last time, which might have been yesterday, also. Yes. So that's a clue. And we also know that we went to the uh, Global Climate Strike event that was held locally. We went there yesterday. That's true. And as always, uh, we're there with the other protesters, and the other protesters are all old, or 95% of them are old. That's true. And it's really concerning. Where are the young people? And many young people say they care about climate change. That's but true. Why aren't they showing up for the climate change strikes it's really weird because like the old people that are there they're going to be dead before the bad stuff happens that's true and the young people are being left holding the bag and that's so right. why aren't the young people showing up at the actions it's odd it's really odd that's true and that's a clue and it was really noteworthy it was noteworthy yeah and they weren't even of that one's generation. It was like that one's parents' generation almost. Oh, yeah. We were like, like these one were of the, the same ones. people it's who were protesting about Vietnam, was what it looked like. What it looked like is all the same people who were at the protests in 1972. That's what I mean. When this host life started showing up for protests. It's like, oh, here I'm the young one here, and everybody else is here, but we're all protesting together to, to draw this war to a close. And. Uh, it was the same people. That's true. But we also know that there were a lot more people uh, protesting, demonstrating than we expected to see. That's true. And it was a really small town, and there could have been a hundred people there. That's right. And that somebody's asking, what about the feedback from the traffic? And the feedback was uh, I'd say 500 honks and thumbs up to every one uh, idiot 
saying <laughs> something like climate change is a hoax, which they sound uh, uneducated at best. That's and true. They definitely have missed the swing in public opinion because they apparently still think it's cool to deny the reality of science science and physics and chemistry and climate change that's true when uh, they, they missed the boat and the tide has turned in public opinion and now people think oh we should probably <laughs> deal with this because it's it's bad it's caused by us and we can change it so let's change it meaning we can change our ways to stop destroying the climate and the planet. It isn't just the climate, it's the planet. Like we're poisoning things and that's another direct attack on life on Earth. That's true. Well, you know one connection that could be made between the signal of Baxter running away right before it's time to go inside and the eerie lack of young people at the protest yesterday. The ones that don't even show up. The ones up. that don't even show up could be about coolness and about when you miss the boat of noticing that something isn't cool anymore. I don't think that's why those young people aren't showing up. I think they're not showing up because they're lazy. Oh, or they think that somebody else is going to solve the problems or they feel hopeless. Like, where are the young people? There was one young couple with their little child. One. And a bunch of gray-haired old men and women. That's true. And some high schoolers that look like high look schoolers. Look like high schoolers, that's so right. Look Thank like you, that's true. The age that this body was that's <laughs> in, right. in 1972. That's right. So there they are, at least they're off to a good start. And what about everybody else? What about the young adults? There was that, yeah, one, here you go. And that, that young couple. Then the young couple, they were about this one's age. Right, think, yeah. yes, we think so too. So three percent of the hundred people who had shown up were young. Didn't see many people in their 30s or 40s. No. Or 50s. Or 50s. Uh, it was the 60s. It was and 70s. And 70s. And some really old some people. Some really old 80s. people. Like yes. Some people it's like that. That guy's 80. Yeah. Sure. How can we be of service right now? What can we do right now to reestablish upward flow on a mass scale? We, we get the signals that show that we are making an impact on upward flow in a very small scale. Where we live, you know, our tiny farm, there are signals that indicate upward flow. That's true. And we're glad for that, but on a mass scale, uh, is really important because the destruction is happening everywhere, not just here on this tiny farm. Yeah, that's true. What can we do right now to reestablish upward flow? How can we be of service right now to the effort to reestablish upward flow? And how does that tie into Baxter running off the farm and about the lack of young people at the demonstrations? I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? No. I do notice that another clue we're having is that both host lives are having breathing issues. That's true. That began sometime during the night last night. That's true. It's not that we have a cold or any kind of no. restriction. Just forgetting to breathe, which yes. is a phenomenon that is becoming more and more widespread. That's true. That humans and dogs and horses literally forgetting to breathe forgetting to breathe that's true and the old school thinking was that one did not have to remember to breathe but that's, that's right that's not what's happening that's true for him is the message and why, why do you, do you ask? ask maybe forgetting to breathe is the same as forgetting to show up for the demonstrations on behalf of life. That could be. You know what someone is talking about? Is about uh, the not breathing and old people at the protest and also about there are these symptoms that have been in the feet, the toes and feet. Mm -hmm. 
And they're talking about when we ask to be shown who those symptoms represent, Mm -hmm. how we see a very old man, not at this level, way up in the Mm -hmm. higher dimension, Mm -hmm. a very old man, and they keep drawing lines between those points. Interesting. Talking about breathing, and they're talking about dying, and they're talking about going up and what it is to die, and all dying is is shifting from one dimension of experience to another dimension, a less dense dimension of experience. That's all it is, and the change is so subtle that many people don't notice that they've died, creating, of course, this problem of clouds of the dead who don't know that they're dead. That's true. But that it's extremely subtle. We have to often figure it out through cues. Uh, Is there a mirror in the room? That's right. Look in the mirror. If you can't see yourself in the mirror, maybe you're dead. Maybe you're dead. Right. That's right. Or you're less dense than that dimension. Exactly. And then, of course, there are entire dimensions where everybody's dead, like where our dead friends are, and we see them having what they have come to think of as actual real lives. Exactly, and the mirrors are of the same density, so when they get up in the morning and they go to brush their teeth, they can see their face Mm -hmm. in the mirror. And they can't put their arm through the wall. Exactly. Right, they're of the same density. What about that? What about the layers of the undead? That's got to be a hindrance in reestablishing upward flow. We know it's been a hindrance in our efforts to reestablish upward flow. Is there something that can be done? Has anybody up there figured out how to uh, kill the undead on a mass scale in a way the undead acknowledge? It's a question that's been brought up a number of times. And that's another clue. It's an unanswered question that's important and relevant to the work. That's true. Is that the big work. The big work. Is that what this filming is supposed to be about? Dealing with the realms of the undead? We also have the love bug invasion. That's true. It's tied to both climate change and the realms of the undead. Exactly. And it's so bad that we just said, okay, (laughs) I'm not filming outside. It's a distraction and it's hard to keep our focus upward. That's true. And it's not easy to keep the focus up anyway. Ever. It's it's difficult. Earlier today, we were outside, we were breathing and had our mouth open and a love bug flew in and boy, that did not make it easier to breathe. No. So being inside right now is such a gift and friends, we need to consider how much we've been given when we have indoor plumbing and we have the ability to go inside to a place that's safe and where there's electricity and climate control and fans and it's easy to get clean and there are grocery stores where it's easy to get food. To not be grateful for that is really offensive and it doesn't get godly presences uh, wanting to help us when no. we're ungrateful for what we've already been given. Why would they give us anything ever again? 